Hey Food Foresters, Amy here. Um, wanted to do a quick video on my red sorrel seeds. Um, as you know, um, I had seed pods from my red sorrel or the Jamaica soil. They kind of look like this. They're nice, bright, pretty maroon red color. Um, and then inside, I'll open this one up and show you what those seed pods look like before they get big. So right there is what they look like before they dry out. Now, I let them ripen on the vine, and what happens is um, the seed pods become brown and dry, and they start to crack open. See how all these are are brown on the inside here the seed pod itself get a better view and they're hard brittle what happens is when they start to open the seeds actually are inside now this one i'm just showing you there's one right in there um they get really hard I, what i do is i let them sit on the counter until they're completely dried out as you can see the whole lot of them um you can tell the seeds have all fallen out and as you can tell these are the seeds these are the seeds jamaica sorrel for sorrel or jamaica sorrel make us red sorrel the jamaica now what you can do is you can wait now and i'm going to show you what here you can see all the little seed pods in this one you can wait until they get dry and then if you just shake them out, they come right out. But in some cases, a lot of them are still at the bottom. So you have to break these open. Um, this is where it can get a little, a little tough because these edges are sharp and they're dried. So you'll actually have to literally break this apart little by little so you can get the seeds that are still inside and you can see see the seeds there um, sometimes they'll fall out but other times you're going to have to um, because these pods are super they're hard and you can cut yourself so you want to be careful um, sometimes you can break them i'm trying i really am yeah. They're freaking hard. Be careful. It will. And you have to be in cut because it would. But you can see right there. Like, but another one right there. Boop. Comes out. There. So what I'm going to do. So I am going to go ahead and finish breaking these up. And then I am going to take all these seeds. And... Put them into a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to save these for next year because I'm going to grow them, and we're going to plant these all over the place because it's just a beautiful plant to have. But as you can tell, just these little pods of seeds, I mean, look how many I have. So I'm actually kind of excited this year. Um, next year, hopefully, I'll be able to get even more, and I'll be able to pass them around and maybe... Um, see about giving some away as we get further along in our YouTube channel. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how you can collect the seeds from your red sorrel. Um, the next video I'm going to do on my red sorrel series is how to harv uh, not to harvest these, but how to make the red sorrel tea or the Jamaica tea with the um, with these buds. So you guys stay tuned for that video here to come soon later on in our uh, later on the season. And remember, grow something for your family.